This video provides a comprehensive process for estimating panel VAR. The central question at the outset is when do we run panel vector autoregression? And the answer is when working with variables that are non stationary at level, but stationary at first differences. In other words, these are variables integrated of first order or I1. And the I1 variables, though, are not co-integrated. And so to proceed, first we need to confirm that the variables are integrated of first order and secondly that uh, the variables are not co-integrated and then thirdly run panel VAR. Now earlier I ran a panel co-integration test on the two series that you see right here, tourist arrivals and real GDP. And as you can see both the Pedroni and cow co-integration tests do not reject the null hypothesis of, co of no co-integration. As you can see, their p-values right here are, for the most part, greater than 5%. With this outcome, we can then proceed and run panel VAR instead of panel vector error correction. And to do so, we first need to specify the panel VAR model and determine the optimal lags to use in the estimation. And thirdly, to then estimate the fixed effects model and afterward random effects model and perform Hausman tests to select between the two under the null hypothesis that random effects is the appropriate model. And so right here, we specify the bivariate panel VAR for our study right here and notice in particular that we do include the fixed effects term which is the unobserved group dependence error term that captures the instance of heterogeneity. So pursuant to this we have a panel data of 13 countries each with 20 years of annual data featuring these two variables right here both of which are I1 but not co-integrated. And so let's head on to eViews and check it out. Right there. So here are the variables tourist arrivals and real GDP. So to perform this analysis we go to quick estimate equation and then right here express our model and as you can see I have two lags here which is what my lag selection criterion determined. And so we're going to go to panel options and change cross section to fixed and then OK. And that's the output right here for the fixed effects model where real GDP is the target variable. Now, though, we need to also estimate random effects model by going to estimate and then panel options and now switch it to random and OK. So now, with the random effects model output in place, we're going to have to choose between the two by running Hausman tests. So for that, we go to View, Fixed Random Effects Testing, and hover over to Correlated Random Effects Hausman Test. And here's our output. Now, remember, the null hypothesis here is that random effects model is the appropriate model. And you can see that we soundly reject that null hypothesis in favor of the use of fixed effects in the estimation of this model. So as a result, we should, with this confirmation, we got to go back and re-estimate the fixed effects model by going to Estimate, Panel Options, and switch this right back to fixed. And here's the model that um, we should base our inferences on. And now we can perform Granger causality tests to determine if tourism Granger causes real GDP under the null hypothesis that tourism does not Granger cause real GDP. And to do so, we're going to perform a joint test of the coefficients of all the lag terms of the explanatory variable, in this case tourism. So to do this we're going to have to go to View, Coefficient Diagnostics, World 
test and then we type out the null hypothesis which is C4 equal C5 equal C6 equal 0 and the reason we do this is because if you observe here the numeric order of the coefficients corresponding to the tourism terms right here are the fourth fifth and sixth counting right from here this is one two three four five and six all right so it's four five and six that we're testing here as the corresponding coefficients and so we click OK and here's our result now mark you the null hypothesis is that tourism does not Granger cause real GDP and of course at any conventional level we reject that null hypothesis because as you can see here p-value is virtually zero and so we can state here that we have evidence that tourism does Granger cause real GDP and what we now have to do is to see if we have reverse causality by going back to estimate the model in which instead of real GDP we're gonna have tourism arrivals as the target variable so here's the um, model right here which I have in my PowerPoint and I'm just gonna have to copy it out right here alright and um, then go back to my PowerPoint and that's to make things quick nice and easy for us alright so you can see now that tourist arrivals is our target variable and back to panel options leave it as fixed first and then OK and here's our output our fixed effects model output in which tourist arrivals is the target variable but we also have to estimate r random effects to be sure so go to estimate panel options now switch this to random effects to random that is okay and here's our results to determine which one should be selected view fix random effects testing husband test and under the null hypothesis that random effects is the appropriate test you can see here from this p-value that we cannot reject that null hypothesis indicating that random effects model is more appropriate in this case and therefore when we go back here to estimate and under random reobtain our results we can then test for Granger causality whereby the null hypothesis this time would be that real GDP does not Granger cause tourism by testing in a joint test of these coefficients right here C4, C5 and C6 so again view coefficient uh, coefficient diagnostics wall test and then we write it out again C4 equal hang on a second C4 right there alright equal C5 equal C6 equal 0 and then OK and again null hypothesis is this time that um, real GDP does not Granger cause tourism and at any conventional level of significance we reject that null hypothesis in favor of the alternative that we have evidence that real GDP Granger causes tourism and so with this we conclude in the way summarized on this slide that in the first panel VAR right here we examined whether in the short run tourism Granger causes real GDP and in the second instance we sought to determine if on the other hand real GDP Granger causes tourism and all things put together we found evidence of bidirectional short run Granger causality hope you enjoyed it Let's keep learning.